so now you know the basics of making a line using different tools we will move on to learn about different draw and modify tools and then we will make a simple drawing using those tools so you already know about line let's talk about polyline i will go to polyline and as you can see now i will click at a point the next then next next and so on and enter to exit this command so this la so this one is polyline let's go to the line again and once again i will do the same and we have the line here so the basic difference between these two tools is if you select polyline the complete set of lines will be selected as this one is a connected curve but not in case of line if you select line only that particular segment will be selected and all of these are separate so that's the first and the basic difference between line and polyline tool now to make the circle you can select the circle tool then click at a point and now type in the radius value so i will type 10 as the radius and i will press enter and here we have it so we have the circle of radius 10 inches so you can also type in the diameter so i will go to circle again i will click at a point and as you can see we have different options in command line i will type d and then enter and now autocad will bring on for the diameter value so if i type 10 now i will make a circle of radius 5 or diameter is 10 now similarly we have the arc tool now using arc tool we can make three point arc using first second and third point and also there are other first and also there are other features which you can use to make different kind of arcs and it just depend on the kind of workflow and the drawing that you have and depending upon that you can select from any of these tools similarly for the circle we have six different ways of making circle and it will just depend on your workflow and depending on that you can select the type of circle that you need now let's move to the rectangle tool so using rectangle tool you can obviously make a rectangle in this case click at a point and then click at second point and you will have your rectangle the first point and second point click at a point and now type in the length and width so i will type 15 for the length and then i will press tab key and i will type 10 for the width and i will press enter and here we have it so the length is 15 and the width is 10 and that's the rectangle which we need now you can move your complete drawing area using pen tool as you know that just press and hold your mouse wheel and pen it around but if you want to move only selected drawings for example if you only want to move this circle then you can use the tool right here on the modify panel called move select move tool select move tool now select the object that you want to move and press enter now select the center or any other point if you want and then move it to your desired point so click let's go then again click and it will move i will do it again so i will go to move then I will select this circle or maybe let's select multiple objects. So I will select this rectangle and the circle. I will press enter and now you need to start from a point. So I will click at a point maybe here randomly and it will pick your object from that point. Now click at the next point where you want to drop it. There we have it now the copy commands in a similar way but in this case instead of moving the object it will create copies so i will go to copy i will select the circle and i will press enter now i will select the center of this circle for picking this 
and now look at this we still have the original object but now a new copy is also made now click at this next point next point and you will have multiple copies of the same object now to exit this command press escape key so i am going to now select all of these things that we don't need and i will delete them we will now work with simple drawing here so let's talk about rotate command so here we have the rotate tool now select the rotate tool and select the object that you want to rotate now i will press enter and the command line will bring on you to specify the base point whenever you don't know the next set of step look at the command line it will always bring on you with the next set of step so in this case you need to specify the base point so i will select this one in the base point and now your object will start rotating along that base point now look at the command line it is bring on you to specify the rotation angle so let's type 30 and enter and look at this so now the rectangle is rotated to an angle of 30 degrees the original rectangle it was horizontal it's now 30 degrees with respect to that now let's add a circle in now let's add a circle inside this rectangle somewhere here and also i will make a straight line here like this all right and i will talk about the mirror tool which is right here so using mirror tool you can make a mirror image of any object in this case i will select this rectangle and the circle i will press enter and now you need to specify a mirroring line so mirroring line in this case so i will click on this point and then this point and we will have this kind of mirror image so using mirror tool you can make mirror images that like this so press enter to finish the command and you will end up with mirror image of this original object where this was the mirroring line so mirroring line is not always necessary is not always important you can even make mirrors without the mirroring line so i will go to mirror i will select these two object press enter and now i will randomly click at two points maybe you can make it a line if you want like this but i will just make a straight line and i will press enter and we will still have the mirror copies and when you mirror any object autocad will ask you if you want to keep that copy or not so you can select yes or no now let's talk about fillet so we have a tool here called fillet and using fillet you can make the corners of any sharp drawing rounded so i will go to fillet and now i will go to radius and now i will specify the radius as let's say 2 inches and now enter i will click on this line and this line and look at this a small radius of 2 inches will be applied let's do it again so i will go to fillet and now i will click on this radius option and type in the radius value in this case i will type a bigger value maybe 5 inches and enter and now select the first line and the second line and you will have this kind of fillet and if you want a sharp edge fillet you can put radius 0 and then click on first line second line now you can see we have a sharp edge okay let's make a line that intersects these lines these objects now let's talk about trim tool we have lot of intersecting curves here and now if you want to trim some unwanted geometries for example if you want to trim this part of the line or this part you can use the trim tool right here so i will go to trim and now after selecting trim 
just press enter key this is a step which you are most likely to forget so in this case select trim and then press enter don't forget to press enter key right after selecting the trim tool or put a command tr and then double press the enter now click on the part of the drawing that you want to trim so in this case i will click on this line and look at this it will trim it up to the next boundary if i click here it will trim it up to the next boundary the similar thing will happen for the circle as well if i click here it will trim it up to the next boundaries so using trim tool you can trim the object up to next available boundaries like this now finally let's talk about a tool called offset so i will go to rectangle now i will go to offset and offset tool we will make another copy of your object which is geometrically similar but at a certain distance so now i will type in offset distance of let's say 5 inches i will press enter now i will select this boundary and i will move it outward if i click inside it will make an offset copy just inside if i move outside it will make the offset copy outside just like this again i will go to offset and this time i will add a bigger value of let's say 10 inches for the offset distance i will select the same line i will click outside and look at this we have this offset again so now we are fairly equipped with the basic draw and modify commands of of autocad and using these tool will now make our 2d drawing so you will know how to use these tools in practical situation this is what we are going to make okay let's start drafting a plan for that i am using command type l and press enter now first we will make boundary line of given length for for end if you want same dimension you can type c for close and enter now we have single boundary line now i am using offset of 9 inch for making our walls now for making rooms i am again using offset tool with given sizes 12 feet 6 inch and 14 feet for both rooms use 12 feet 6 inch for width and 14 feet for length then for making wall i will again use 9 inch offset now trim all extra lines every small lines which we don't need now we will do the same process for these two room the dimension is 10 feet and 8 feet 8 feet is 8 feet is width and 10 feet is length 
now again take offset of 9 inch trim all the extra lines Okay, now you can see trim tool only work on intersecting lines. So, I will select these and delete. Okay, now we have same shape as in picture. Next thing is windows. For that, let's again follow the dimensions and make the windows with same offset tool. Okay, now here I am using a new command of extend to extend my lines. Now trim the extra lines. We also have one window here. Okay, we don't have a size of window so we will start from left side Now ex again extend these two lines. For extend you have to press command E X and then double enter. Now after marking the window size we will make these two lines to differentiate that I am taking the offset of 3.5 inches now from both lines. Now trim all the extra lines. Okay, here we have our windows. The next thing is doors. So, I am keeping a distance of 3 inch from walls for door. Okay, now let's assume the size of door is 3 feet. when the width of door is 3 feet then obvious the opening will be 3 feet Now trim the extra line.
now you can see after trimming the lines we have a box shape so we will extend the lines of door after tripping after trimming all the lines okay for extend you have to remember press the command e x and double enter Okay, for this shape, I will go to Arc Tool and select the first point, second point. Now, as you know, we are using three point arc, so we have to specify our third point. Okay, same with another door. First point, second point. and third point now same with third door first second third you can even make your doors by two point arc okay now delete the extra lines and trim the line from opening okay now here is our main door we will delete first extra lines and for main door you can see we have a double door we will take offset of 2 feet then again select the arc tool and specify our points first second and third same with other door now trim and delete the extra lines okay now here is the plan the next step is this line which is done by using hatch tool Now we will use hash tool. There are some patterns which are already present in AutoCAD. So I am using this pattern. Now we have colors. You can select any color or you can go by layer. Then the next is we have size. Okay, let's say ten for our size, and select at the point where we want to hatch. Now you can see this is very small, so we will change our we will change our size, change it into thirty five. Press enter. Okay, now this is the okay. we will hash the rest of the boundaries after hatching press enter to exit the command now here we have our plan now move on to dimensions but before moving on we have to set now, the dimension style for that press d and enter a new window will appear like this click on modify we have a new window like this first we will move to primary units and set unit font in architectural 
then move to text we will set our text height let's say 5 inches press 5 we also have fraction height scale and then text alignment everything you are doing will appear in this window I will select ISO standard now move to symbol and arrows I will select architecture tick you can select anyone now move to lines in this we have different setting of dimension lines okay if you want that your dimensions and drawing will have gap so you can select the fixed length you can change the size of length we also have other settings like alternatives and tolerance after setting click on ok and close ok now move on now move to dimension tools select the first point second point and drag now here we have a dimension of 31 feet and 6 inch now again with another side again with rooms you can drag inside or outside where you want here we have our dimensions of straight line you can say it is very easy just select first point and then second point we have our dimension you can drag you can drag anywhere you want okay now if you want a dimension of an arc you can go to here here we have different options we will select arc length and click on our arc we have a dimension of arc you can select the placement if you want a dimension of circle ok let's first draw a circle randomly now we want to check the dimension of the circle we will go in dimensions and select the radius and click on a circle now here we have a radius which is symbolized with R now if we want diameter we will again go in dimensions select a diameter and then click on again circle now here we have a diameter with a diameter sign okay okay if you want a dimensions of angle let's make an angle let's suppose we have a triangle okay now if now we want a dimension of this diagonal line we will go and click on align then specify our first point second point and drag now here we have our diagonal line dimension while clicking on dimensions only you can't take any diagonal line dimension okay this is a simple dimensions if you want a continuous line for dimensions let's specify our first point second point and drag now you can see in command line click on continue or press c enter and click on the dimension where you want our next dimension next point next point next point 
you can click on every next point of which you want dimension your dimension will be in one straight line dimensions for next we will move on to text for click on our first point second point where we want our text let's say bedroom now we have a sizes for text you can say this is very tiny because we didn't select our size of bedroom let's reselect again and select the bedroom now change the size on our left side first you have to scale according to our size ok let's change in 5 you can select any according to your drawing now this is readable ok if you want a text with a line for that go to ledger click on it specify first point second point and then type the text select the whole text select the size let's say again 5 and click now here we have our text with a line or arrow ok now that's all for today in next video we will learn about blocks and layers thank you Thank you.